when they mentioned Sweden, I thought, fantastic, going overseas, all expenses paid trip. I should probably listen to the breeze. I'm actually in deepest, darkest Somerset. But what we're going to do is find out how you turn this into this with what I can only say is one of the toughest materials I've heard of. So let's go and find out some more. <laughs> so we're with Andy from Metal Tech Precision. Great, great machine shop, really, really impressive. But today, we are going to showcase a machine which is your L20 with LFE technology. But this is about a solution that Citizen have provided you for this component. So can you talk me through the story, please? Yeah, so we've been making this product for uh, about 15 years now. Uh, when we first started, back in the day, we were making it on a conventional um, two-axis lathe, um, fixed head lathe, um, with a second op facing the head off. Okay. Um, about 10 years ago, we were introduced to sliding head technology. Yep. Uh, where um, we were shown that we could reduce cycle times, um, improve tool life. Um, so straight away, two, two ops down to one, straight away. Exactly, yep. yeah, yeah, subspindle machine. Yep. Um, so um, to, uh, a, a time study was done. Um, off the back of that, um, we purchased this machine. Uh, within a year, we purchased a second machine um, due to customer demands um, and, and us needing more capacity, basically. Um, but with the ever-increasing pressures, you know, uh, pricing, things like that, being efficiencies, you've reviewed how you're manufacturing this and then Citizen have come up with a solution, is that right? They have. We've struggled with swarf control on this product for many, many years. It, it's, it's basically from a Swedish iron, which is probably the worst material that you're ever going to try and cut in your life. So I've heard of so. ink canals, mnemonics, is it even worse? Oh, oh yeah, it's just, it's just purely down to, to the swarf control. and the. Um, randomness of the material if you like it can react in different ways along a length of bar okay. so where you think you found a solution with speeds and feeds and maybe the right insert for cutting it chip breakers etc halfway through the bar it will just change it, it can change its it, it's complete you know it's 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 style if you like it's just it's just you just don't know what you're going to get okay, so, so you've got you've got a bar you can load that you can have it you have it ground and but it's not just the grinding of the bar, et cetera, it's actual material itself that's the issue. It's, it's the material itself, it, okay. it's the issue. So we've tried many, many different types of, of carbide inserts, um, chip breakers, uh, no one's ever come up with a perfect solution. Um, in in cir some circumstances, it can cause fires, and we've experienced that ourselves. Oh, so maybe stand away from the machine a little bit yeah. then. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be safe on this one. Okay. Um, so we had, to, we had to look beyond that. Yep. And we had to move away from that and try and find another solution right. um, to, to, to manufacture this, this product. Uh, again, we've been, we've been driven uh, from customers to get costs down, increase capacity as well. Yeah. Um, so you went to Citizen with the, with the we, well, yeah. well, I'd say problem, the opportunity. Yes, we, we were aware of, of the new LFE technology and, and the possibilities of what it, it could do for us. So we approached Citizen, they, they were absolutely fantastic from start to finish. They did a complete um, trial for us um, up in Birmingham, uh, where we supplied them the material, the same tooling as what we currently are using, even down to the cutting oil, we supplied them the same cutting oil. So as soon as they saw the material though, there was a roll of the eyeballs, they're like, ooh. Yeah, I think that when they first started cutting it, um, without the LFB, uh, they knew they had a battle on their hands. But um, it, as it turns out, they didn't. Um, the technology is fantastic. It does what it says on the tin. Um, we have um, reduced our cycle times by 30%. We've in increased our tool life as well. We used to get possibly 30 components an edge. Now we're getting 100. So um, happy days. I, I don't know what else to say really. So you've got the, this is the L20, so yeah. 20 mil bar, but you've got the adaptive guide bush to go with it. We've got uh, an adaptive guide bush on, on this machine. So. Um, the, the bar, although we have it ground, it can still be quite random along the length. Um, and that's not to do with the people grinding, it's the actual material again. It's, a, it's, it's the base material itself, yeah. yeah. It's, it's kind of a black bar, so it, it's, it's not the best. Um, we have some tight tolerances on this part as well. So obviously we have to have um, a suitable, suitable um, work holding yeah. um, facility on the machine. Okay, so Citizen, come up with a solution, the L20 specifically, for this size of component, but you mentioned the tool life itself has, it has improved? Tool life's improved with our, our current um, uh, inserts that we use. Yeah. Okay. So we're down, like I said, we're down from, from sort of 30 components and edge down to up to 100. Ah, f fantastic saving that sort of thing. What about the finish on the, on the actual component though? Finish has improved as well. Some people might think it, it, 
you know, with the technology itself, it might, it might make it worse, but it's actually, um, it's actually improved the finish as well. So all round, so saving on your tooling, improved finish, it will ho hold the bar with no, no issues in terms of, because the quality bar can be quite tricky. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, with, with our existing, um, or our, our alternative method of machining on our existing machines, you just don't know what you're going to get. So all of a sudden you could be chipping and all of a sudden you'll just start to get a bird's nest. It was probably known in the industry. Yeah. Um, and of course, if, if that operator happens to have turned his back for whatever reason, checking another component or something, yeah. and, a, and the subspindle's coming over, all of a sudden you've got a major problem on your hand. Yeah, and as I said earlier, it could, you know, it could get fire potentially. Yeah, yeah, well, we've experienced that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which isn't good, we don't want that. Absolutely, so it's a great sort of endorsement of Citizen how they've come up with a solution for you guys. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're over the moon with it. Um, okay. You know, you, like I said to you earlier, you can ask any one of the guys in the section, the, the programmers, the setters, the operators, what they think of Swedish iron, and they're going to tell you horror stories. Yeah, we heard a few swear words earlier. <laughs> we did, we did. Uh, we chose not to put that on camera, didn't we, fortunately? But, um, Absolutely. So, yeah, this is a fantastic solution. Everybody's happy. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, the jobs are, are flying through. You know, we're, we were in a position where we were struggling to meet customer demand. Now we're, we're, we're in, a, in a stocking position, so oh. happy days all around. Absolutely, and it, in fact, it's so efficient, this machine, you haven't got any, it's not running at the moment because it, you've already done, done, done all the work you're anticipating. Well, no, we're just, we're just waiting for some job cards to come through from the yeah. office, actually. So the office <laughs> will let you down on that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the Citizen machine itself is performing yeah. absolutely fantastically. Yeah, fantastic, yeah. Very, very pleased, yeah. Yeah, yeah Citizen have been fantastic. Can't, yeah. can't praise them enough. So again, with Citizen, you're thinking accurate, fast, small footprint, reliable, but also they've come up with a fantastic solution for you guys. Absolutely, yeah. Even so that, that, that we're waiting for the technology to be introduced on their 32mm machine so that we can, we can, we can uh, inquire about buying another machine because some of our parts are out of inch and a quarter bar. So, so as soon as we can get that introduced somewhere else, then we're, we're happy. Brilliant, Andy. I think you might be getting a phone call for Citizen very soon. <laughs> Great endorsement of the machinery. Thank you very much. No problem. Cheers, Colin. Thank you.